mtu tupu ndake yapatikana yuko na mvi wa mbwa ni mchao mwaka wa 2017 na 2018 kuna wazee wapatao 88 ambao waliuliwa ni almost 90% ya ya wale wanaohusika ama wanachangia mauaji ni familia siku za nyuma nyuma wazee wetu walikuwa wanaisha kuuliwa kwa sababu eti ni wachawi 31st ya mwaka juzi kwa mke ya mwaka jana tukapata simu kama saa 8 usiku liko kanisani kwamba amekata kutoka mapanga hapo Mriale na amekimbizwa hospitali na amekufa na allegations za uchawi nchi nzima kila mmoja yuko na haki mvizi mmena zitakuwa ni zenye hekima The Kenyan coast comprises of six counties, among them being Kalifi County. The county has a population of 1,453,787 as per the 2019 Kenya National Bureau of Statistics Census report. The predominant inhabitants are the Majikenda group mainly the Juriama and the Chonyi. Like in every other county, agriculture has been the main economic activity of the communities around Kalifi. With the presence of the Indian Ocean, other forms of businesses and especially the hotels have been evolving to cater for the ever-growing tourism sector. This growth has brought tremendous expansion of the towns around Kalifi and has helped boost its economy. The Jiriyama community with its rich culture has become one of the main attractions for the tourists. The entire Kenyan coast is flourishing and it's gradually cutting a niche in the country's economy. However, despite all this beautiful and serene environment, the county has silently been suffering. <laughs> There is an emerging trend where the elderly are wrongfully but intentionally accused of witchcraft, mostly by family members with the aim of scaring them to go into hiding fearing for their lives, or outrightly killing them. Yani vijana wadogo wadogo wakiona mzee ana umvi tu kidogo anasema yule ni mchawi pengine mwenyewe hana kazi hakusoma vizuri anasema mzee ndio yua yua mroga mzee huko akimwona mzee hata kama akimwangalia hivi anasema tayari mchawi atakao niangalia kwa nini wewe ni mchawi sasa ingawa sasa watoto wana, wadogo wanaacha kusoma wanajiunga na kazi ambayo haina maana kabisa huyo alikatwa huyo siku hiyo basi alikuwa kuna ni wawili ulikuwa ni wakati wawili huyo mwanamke alikuwa ni akatwa alafu akaenda kumnyonya kwa mwanamume wakaenda kumkuta hapo mtoto wake anapiga mswaki nje tunaona usiku wao tumekuwa sasa sisi wale watu wa Kavinyalalo wazee wamekuwa wako roho zao wakifika jioni wako roho zao wanawoga kwa sababu mtoto mdogo mwenye ukisungumza naye anakutishia maisha hata nikikumbuka kulikufaawili kwa siku moja na nikikumbuka ni mwezi wa tano. na baada ya kuwa yule ameshikwa kwanza alisema msiniweni pesa nilipatiwa na yule aliwao ni first born aliyepeana pesa ni last born yani mzee alikuja kitambo na kitambo yeye ndo alipoa hapo kwanza upload basi yeye hajui mpaka waka hata mtoto alisadua juzi asema hapa ni kwetu Nime, nimeona wazee wakijitokeza wakija kusema kwamba um, wanaomba msaada maana ke wameambiwa kwamba wao ni wachai na wanataka kuuawa mzazi wa kiume anapopoteza maisha yake uh, wamama wanapata pigo katika kulea 
na katika kuendelezea familia maana unaona ameacha nyuma watoto na watoto hao wana mahitaji ya labda ya kula ya kuenda shule sasa inakuwa pigo kwa mwanamke huyu ama katika mama huyu kuendeleza familia yake these killings have continued to happen citing witchcraft as the main reason in Khalifi for instance, 108 murder cases reported in 2018 were linked to witchcraft related incidences. These killings have been most rampant in Magarini, Gansu and Rabai in Khalifi County, and Mzmuni and Kinango in Quail County. There has been very little effort from government agencies to curb the rise in these murders. These agencies including the police have mostly been reactionary, moving in after a death has already occurred. Wengine waliuawa kwa shutuma za uchawi. Wengine wakauawa kwa shutuma za mambo ya land. Watoto wanadai wanadai urathi wa wa land. Ndio inafikia mzee hataki labda wanamuua ndio mambo hiyo rais. The delay in taking action against the killers has caused the vice to thrive amongst the local communities. The acts go on with total disregard for the consequences of the law. Familia inauza ngombe, inauza mbuzi, wanachukua mkopo ili waweze kulipa wale wahusika ambao watakuja kumpoteza kumuua mzee ili waweze kupata kile ambacho wanataka kupata kutoka kwa mzee. Ili gundulika eh, kwamba uchawi how exist katika sehemu hii bali hasa uliletwa na uhusiano mbaya wa watu kutowajibika laziness though witchcraft is seen as the main reason behind the killings the leadership attributes laziness and the need to have quick money from the sale of the elders land as the driving force for these killings shamba sile sababu senu mimi nasimiliki wakati nikiondoka itakuwa hiyo ni manufaa yenu ndio ambia nimkatie nimkatie kivipi eh Unfortunately, some religious leaders have fueled these killings by supporting the perpetrators of these heinous acts. Viongozi wa kidini wako na role kubwa sana ambao wana wana wanacheza katika hii shida ya uwaji wa wa wazee. Wengine ambao sasa wamejitokeza na ni hatari kubwa ni viongozi wa dini wale ambao wanajiita manabii waombezi mtu anatoka kule ametoka na mama biblia zake na mafuta na chumvi anakuja kwa kijiji anaambia kijiji nimepatiwa maono kwamba nyinyi mnateseka na anayewatesa yuko hapa ukimuuliza ulijuaje anakuambia niliota hivyo ataenda paka pale na waambia familia mtu anayewatesa anayewaua anatoka nyumba hii na yuko hivi na hivi na hivi na wataenda pale wamwagie chumvi na mafuta wakisema wanamuombea wamtakase lakini hile tumeona si kumtakasa ile ni mbinu ya kuonyesha kwamba huyu ndio wa kuuawa dini pia kuna 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 watu wanajiita wambezi mm. wambezi nao pia imekuwa changamoto kwa mm. wanao pengine mbali kuweza kuwa kuna mgonjwa wanatakabishwa na mwenye ile familia mm. wanaenda kwa mapapa Owing to the great respect and near infallibility of the pronouncements of these preachers, few would question their words, and often, the unfortunate old men face the wrath of their accusations. They are left at the mercy of the public, and death is always the result. There are numerous challenges that have been facing various organizations which want to help the situation. Some of the challenges are the law governing the practice of witchcraft act number no. 67 of 2012 is shallow at best it is not restrictive in terms of preventing the practice of witchcraft nor protecting those accused of it from extrajudicial executions dash getting convictions in court for suspects is usually very hard as there are usually no witnesses willing to testify this is mostly because the key suspects are usually family members of the deceased. These challenges make it hard to bring the culprits to book as suspects are rarely convicted and punished. Sheria iliyopo sasa ambayo kwa kimombo inaitwa Witchcraft Act ndio inatumika kuzungumzia ama kuangazia haya mauaji ya wazee. Eh kama county commission wa Kilifi eh uwanji wa wazee katika hapa Rabai na sehemu zingine za Kilifi umekera kila mtu kwa sababu hakuna eh, sheria inakubali mtu kutoa uwai wa mtu na niatia 
kuua mtu ovyo ovyo viongozi wa, wa usalama katika mikutano ambayo tumekuwa nao uh, tumeona hawana ule uhusiano mwema na jamii kwa hivyo wakati uh, majanga haya yanapotokea vile wanavokuja kwa jamii huwa inawafanya jamii wanasusia kuwasaidia mtu akeshikwa anaweza kupatiwa faini ya shilingi mia moja na hamsini ama shilingi mia tano ama anafungwa kifungo kisichozidi miaka mitano nafikiri hata hawa wa, wale wanahusika kwa mauaji na wanaopanga njama wamejua kwamba sheria hazina makali watu maofisa wetu kesi zinazembea hazi fatu vile ambavyo tunataka haki yetu hatuipati unaenda pale na mambo ndo kueleza lakini inaketiwa inaketiwa mwisho wa kuisha mtu washauao kwa hivyo hilo linanitia uchungu sana kama mzazi na kama mkaji wa mawesa there is definitely a need to check on these laws make them more strict and help in putting them into practice by the concerned authorities lakini kwa sababu ya eh, minu ambazo tunazo wa nyumba kumi na ile tunaita eh, community policing waliweza kutupatia information na wengine tukawakamata na time hii ni wengi hapo wao wako kwenye mahakama ili waweze kuthibitisha nini kiliwafanya mpaka kuua wazee hao katika masuala haya pia tumeshukuru Tumepata organization ambayo si ya serikali haki yetu na imetufunza vyema na The non-governmental organization Haki Yetu loosely translated means our right has since its inception done a great deal especially in coming to the rescue of the old men and women through various modules both in the community and through the government Tulikuwa na director ya public prosecution na tumekubaliana kesi inahusu mambo ya mauaji ikipelekwa kotini watachukua kwa uzito kwa sababu hatutaki ile jamii ya Afrika ione ni kama uh, haki aitendeki so tumekubaliana na pia idara ya mahakama tumekubaliana vizuri mtu akipelekwa kotini wacha uamuzi uh, utolewe ili wa, watu waendelee kuishi kwa amani government agencies have been keen on reacting to killings instead of taking measures to prevent them dot as a human rights organization haki yeta has been keen on protecting the lives of the elderly in these counties the right to life is the very core of human rights thus the keen interest by haki yeta to pursue this project so we're working very closely with the government because we have to do that this is not just a community problem but it's a national problem and uh, we feel that we're encouraged that when we were asked the reason we're in Rabai today that we did Matuga was that we were asked by the government and uh, when the minister for for security Mr Matiangi came here uh, to to the coast it was one of his concerns but I hope he knows that we are doing our best to address it although we covered three counties uh, it's 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 very widespread and we've not we can't say we've solved the whole problem but we've set a standard and we hope to continue to do it to protect the elderly and reduce the genocide against them haki yeta has adopted a multi-pronged approach which includes conflict resolution youth empowerment capacity building of the police and administrators law review land laws sensitization respect for the elderly campaign the community policing strategy has worked well now locals can confidently report to the authorities of any ill doing being planned or taking place and action taken swiftly kuna hawa watu ambao wanajiita waombezi wao sisi tumepawa idhin kwamba tukiwapata wanafanya maswala hayo ili sasa kugawanya watu kuleta chuki to report haraka haraka kwa authorities usaidizi ambao nimepata kutokana na hii huu shirika la eh, haki yetu ya upatanishi ni kwamba limenisaidia sana kutetua matatizo ambayo yamezuka baina ya mtu na nyumba yake kama shirika tumeweza kusaidia wazee wasiopungua 15 locals and government leaders have also undergone through alternative conflict resolution approaches courtesy of haki yetu Ramadan 
All these interventions by the organization are geared at sensitizing communities and building their capacity to resolve conflicts amicably and protecting the elderly. The impact of these interventions can be seen. Cases of killings are getting fewer, there are more cases of threats being reported to law enforcement due to improved trust between police and communities. Na vikiri shirika kama hili limekunja la haki yetu eh, pamoja na serikali ya kitaifa tutaendelea kufanya kazi pamoja tuone ya kwamba mambo ya kuwa waze imeenda chini ama tumeipunguza kabisa. Mwangulu, eh, magombani, eh, matoroni, matoroni A, matoroni B, kiwegu uwanja wa ndege huko tumeelimisha wazee zaidi ya 150 malindi tumeelimisha wazee zaidi ya 160 na wameweza kupunguza maafa ya mauaji kitambo maeneo ya ganda na goshi malindi huko ndio kulikuwa na idadi kubwa sana ya mauaji leo ukienda ganda na goshi mwaka unaisha bila kusikia mtu hata mmoja ameuawa kwa usingizi wa uchawi sasa tunashukuru kwa sababu tunapotoka nyuma kulikuwa kuna uhatari wa hata usingizi ulikuwa haupatikani kwa sawa sawa lakini kufikia sasa tunashukuru mambo yameenda yametulia kiasi itakuwa hakuna tena sababu ya mtu kusingizia kama mimi nimekosa pesa kwa sababu siko na shughuli nimekosa pesa kwa sababu sina hivi sina hivi itakuwa ile 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 ile, ile pressure imekwenda chini na mwisho kabisa hili jambo litaisha na wazee wataishi kwa amani na watoto wataishi kwa amani the government is sincere the the government services the police they they're sincere it's a new territory they have no training in this area the judiciary has no training in dealing with witchcraft um the police have no capacity to deal with land matters so they need that cooperation of all the stakeholders of the the land commission of surveyors of politicians and i think that's what we've seen is that no one no one department can solve this problem this needs the contribution of everybody and our approach has been to include all stakeholders ni faida kwetu kwa warabai cause kumetulia wazee wetu sahi kidogo wana amani cause kwa manyumba kulikuwa hakuna amani na sisi wa mama haki watu haki yetu sisi wa mama ndo tume tumejaribu kutatua hama tatizo hata migogoro ya manyumbani pia pengine watu wamekosana wanasongeziana hivi hivi sisi watu tunaenda kuwakalisha pamoja tuwauliza tujue tatizo liko wapi na tutatoa hayo matatizo kusema kweli hata sahi hawa mama wanafurahi sana kwa sababu kule makwao kila mmoja anasema sahi kwetu kumetulia sahi kwetu kumetulia ilikuwa kishika njia kwenda kuni unasikia maneno ya watu wanaongea njiani lakini toka wajue watu tulipata mafunzo hakuna tena maneno yanaongewa njiani mtu akikuona tu anasema eh nyamazeni usiendelee kuongea na sasa twashukuru mambo maji yametulia na tunaendelea vizuri politicians are not getting involved because they will think they have to take sides but at least if they give relief it can help but for, where the politicians have and i want to set up rescue centers we have to recognize them and praise them uh, especially as we said in the example of uh, ganse so that that's important for others they they know they should not be afraid this is a community problem and it's a historical problem they have to make some contribution these impacts cannot be wholly attributed to the interventions made by haki yetu but the organization stands proud of the work it has done Mauaji. Amani na upendo. Melewano kwa jamii. Ndivyo tunavyotaka 
tuweze kusonga mbele Mwani na upendo Melewana ukwa jamii Nijo tunapyotaka tuweze kusonga mbele Kwa tuje pamoja Tungane kwa pamoja Tumemuzo kwa jamii Tualinde wa zee wetu Tumalize mauwaji Kwa tuje pamoja Tungane kwa pamoja Tumemuzo kwa jamii Tualinde wa zee wetu Tumalize mauwaji Amani